We will continue with the content of the previous lesson, and we will go to the History Data section. Then, you select the Alarm Log option, and select Add New in Alarm Log. Here, this is the amount of data that you want to save in a log file. The default is 500. If you want more, you can set it to 1000 or 2000. The larger the number, the larger the log file. Then, you choose the file format to save. Here, the default is text. The file will be saved directly to the USB. Other parameters can be left as default. With this setup, every 1000 alerts will create one file. The process will stop when the USB is full. The saving time depends on the USB capacity. Some screens allow you to choose a different USB port from X60.1 to X60.4. Here, we select the default X60.1, then go back to the screen. For example, go to the settings screen to create an alarm log. Select properties. Choose alarm log. Find the log file that was just created. Name this log file. Complete. One more step. Back to the Alarm HMI section. Here, there are two classes, Error and Warning. If you want to include both classes in Alarm Log, you need to select Alarm Class. Click on Error. Choose Log 1 as the log. Similarly, for Warning, choose Log 1 as the log. Back to the screen and run the runtime to check. For example, turn on motor 1, turn on motor 2, and motor 3. Then go back to the alarm section. It has already appeared here, then we turn it off. And when we add a new entry, it will overwrite the previous one. We have to switch screens and then go back. This will make the alarm appear. That's the alarm log. This is the content of today's lesson.